Considering the global shift toward various forms of media consumption, how do you plan on ensuring that the new Dirt Merchants universe remains relevant and appealing to a diverse and evolving audience base? That's going to depend on the team. We're staying true to our requirement to tell true stories and to uh, to do it without special effects. It's another thing maybe I left off the list earlier. We don't use special effects uh, for the most part. Every once in a while, you got to do it. You got to use a little Hollywood magic, but that's every once in a while. Just like every once in a while, someone's got to die in Dirt Merchant's world. Just got to do it. Someone's just got to go. Every once in a while, you just got to <laughs> use a little, a little special something, something, right? So we can't, we can't, we're not going to deviate from that, from that plan. However, there are filmmaking techniques that are constantly evolving that we can incorporate and we can create alternate versions of what we do also. Um, for example, uh, one of our movies, you're gonna figure out real soon, uh, was actually a dream sequence, okay? And, but you're, but you're not going to know that until much later. So watching it, you feel it's real, right? But every once in a while, there's a little something that happens that you're like, that doesn't seem quite right. Just like in a dream, I mean, this is from, in, from inception, it, it, it's, you know, the, the movie about, about in, infiltrating people's, people's dreams, right? You, you know, Leo says, you, you know, you, you, you don't usually know that you're dreaming until something just doesn't feel quite right. And then you, that, that's when you come to the realization that you're dreaming and you can wake yourself up, right? Until that point, you don't know you don't know that so we'll use special effects to to a certain degree as as need be and also will we will uh we'll incorporate the latest the latest uh, some of the latest techniques because but we're not going to we're not going to complete our next our last of the next version of the the next uh, section of the series until until probably 28 27 28 29 so who knows what kind of really cool gear there's going to be uh, between now and then. And, um, and we'll incorporate what, what, what we can to give us that, um, that, uh, that, that, that substantial, substantial feel. But I'll tell you what, uh, we are very much uh, dedicated to shooting the movie as it is with, with real, real backgrounds and real uh, cars and, and real sets. We rarely will be inside. If we're in a nightclub, it's because we're in a nightclub. If we're in a car, it's because we're in the car. We're not making these things, creating these things from scratch because that's, again, just like that dream within a dream. And you don't know that you're dreaming until something's a little bit wrong. And when you're watching these movies that seem real, but then something just seems off, you might not even, you might not even notice it. So to, to your point or to your question, we're, for the movies, we're pretty much going to stay old school. We're pretty much going to stay the way we've been doing it, uh, incorporating whatever's new and whatever we can to make it even more authentic. Uh, but as far as creating additional media, additional shows, additional interviews, we can use the latest and greatest technology. Uh, and, and I know that uh, there's a lot coming that we can't really talk about right now, but there's exciting things happening in the world of VR. There are exciting things happening in the world of artificial intelligence. There are exciting things happening with the new cameras and the new ways you can shoot mobily and, and, and communicate with people. We could be doing an interview from the top of the, the, uh, the, uh, the Mount Kilimanjaro if, if we want to, or inside of a Buddhist temple. And there's, because the cameras are getting so good and because the, the, uh, the, the access to these places is now, um, we have unprecedented ac access to all these really great locations. So there's all kinds of, of, of opportunities for those uh, on the team that want to pursue those areas, and we're open. We're open to every uh, technology that we can incorporate into this universe to make uh, uh, to make the make sure the message uh, comes through loud and clear. And as a technology guy, I can attest that statement is very very true. And you're doing an amazing job of answering questions I have not asked yet. So. <laughs> you, right. great, on you, very on me. Say that I again. Say that I last part it. again. No, do I now? 
Say that last part again. Camera's on oh, you. Oh, I was just saying you're doing an amazing job of answering questions I haven't even asked you yet that I planned on asking you. So you're doing a very thorough job. I appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> you're well, you're, your films have a way of reflecting societal and cultural nuances while simultaneously being futuristic. How do you maintain the this balance between present day realities and a future and possibilities within the Dirt Merchants universe? Well, it, it, it comes back to the great question. It, 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 it goes back to the, the themes uh, that the themes stated in these movies. We're communicating very important uh, issues, uh, dealing with very important, uh, important issues that we all go through, especially those of us coming of age. And when we come of age once, we come of age again. If you think that the, the, the feelings that you, the growing pains that you experience as a teenager aren't going to come back, Again, when you're growing into a new career, into a new, a new, uh, a new uh, period of your life, if they're they're, they're not going to come back, they are. You're wrong about that. And so, even though we're dealing with very, very um, rudimentary uh, experiences that we all have to go through as teenagers and young adults, for the most part, in the first in the first several movies, we've been deal, deal, dealing with with these issues, issues such as self-esteem, uh, issues uh, such as bullying, uh, issues such as suicidal tendencies of people, uh, issues regarding choices that we have to make, issues regarding the, the, the company that we keep, which is one of Spencer's really cool lines, in my opinion, in uh, Rebelistic, he, you know, Brandon is complaining and complaining that he's that he's dealing with these gangsters and they have to, he's got to, he's got to, and, and, and gangsters don't play around. When you cross a gangster, you will pay. And sometimes it's a double and sometimes it's a triple dip and sometimes a quadruple dip and there's nothing that you can do about it. It's a great episode, Josh, in The Sopranos. When the the owner of the uh, of the uh, the sports uh, the sporting goods store, uh, when he when he he's a uh, he's like this this the suburban dad, but he's a he's a delinquent gambler, right? And yeah. and Tony keeps telling him, "Don't come to my card game. Don't bet on these games. Don't get involved." Tony's the if you don't know the Sopranos, he's the lead the lead gangster in this this in this series, right? And the guy doesn't listen. And he comes around and he comes around, then he borrows, then he borrows from the other guy to pay the other guy. And all of a sudden he's knee deep in it. And then when he finally has to pay the pay the piper, Tony says, Well, I, I I told you the game you were the game you were entering was not a game you should be playing. So you gotta get both your legs broken. <laughs> and then still pay on top of that. So what Spencer says to Brandon's complaining about all these the gangsters unusual and un. The uh, un, un, unrealistic and undeserved demands and requests and requirements. He says, hey, man, that's the company you keep. And it, that, that's one of my favorite lines in the movie. And you were in that movie, Josh. So you remember that, that when that happened. And so we're dealing with themes that are uh, very much modern day issues that we all had to deal with. And one of the ways that we can communicate the, um, the universality, if that's a word, I don't see Doc here today, uh, but you're watching on recording, is that a word, universality? The uh, universal appeal of these themes, and we can get in international if you want in a minute here, Josh, but the universal appeal to these movies is because we all go through it. And by showing people from a different, a different generation going through the same exact things that people are going through today, it's, it, it exemplifies how universal the themes are. If you, your kids in China go through self-esteem issues, just like kids in the United States, just like kids in India, just like kids in the in, in United Kingdom. It's, it's human nature, okay? And these things, these concepts are, 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 are universal. And so by, by covering it in a very, in a very raw, covering these themes in a very raw, raw manner, we're able to, uh, to communicate that um, across, across the board. 
And, uh, and, and for, 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 for us making these movies, and this probably had, gets us back to the original questions about why are we doing this? Like, what's the idea here? Why give up a successful speaking career and a publicly traded company that was, why give all that up and walk away? Yeah. I was, I ran that company for 10 years. And I said, finally, one day I said, it was like the keys to the car. I said to a friend of mine, remain nameless here. I said, here are the keys to the car. See you later, right? It's like taking a keys of a, of a, a brand new, uh, uh, you know, what's a nice car? Lamborghini, Porsche, uh, Rolls Royce, all together, right? Hand it off. I don't want it. Why do that? Why, why walk away from all of that to do something that is like, is totally in a, in, in, in the, the, in a, in a, in, a, in a, it just, it just, it just screams of hard work. It yeah. just screams of this is going to take a while and get ready. Why do it? Well, because it's important. It's important to, if you have the ability to communicate concepts in a, in a, in a, in an entertaining manner to people who need to hear it so that it gets through, if you have the ability to do that, then you should. And, 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 and it's fun because you get to, you get to see people's faces light up and then you bring the good ones with you and create the team. And then the burden isn't on your shoulders like it was before. You spread that out. And that's what we're doing now. This, this new platform that we, that we launched called dirtmerchantsfilms.com, the universe platform, is designed to be a perpetual recruiting machine of forward-thinking, wasier minds that can bring value. And we say, okay, you bring value, you're, you're conscious, caring, sharing, then we, 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 we give the power to your, your cause. And yeah, we're just a little, little guys on the block right now that's how it starts. It starts with the with a small group. It starts with some some really raw talent and some raw product that people are digging on, and that's how you get the team to buy in. That's how you get the team to buy in, and then you know you're more powerful the next day because then they get up to speed. And it, it it's and it's it's it, 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 the, the goal here, Josh. I know you have your next question ready. The goal here is to do it without effort. We don't have to make a conscious effort to recruit these people. They come to us. It's like that Kevin Costner movie. I don't know if he said it or if somebody else said it. I haven't watched that movie in a long time. Feel the dreams. If you build it, they will come. And that is what we have done. We built this this dream, this, this field of dreams in the personal development world. And we need all you guys to come with us. The, the top, top, top people. I'm talking, you know who I'm talking to. The top, the best. You have $10 billion. And 10, uh, somebody said they have 10 billion followers. I said, you got 10 billion followers? <laughs> you got some aliens in the mix? We got to talk to Maury and, uh, and Zen about that, right? You can have all the whole world. We still want you. Come on over, play with us because it's fun. It's different. It's unique. Let's have some fun. Let's make a difference, and let's recruit some more like-minded people. And in the end, uh, we are uh, we're having a a very good chance to raise raise the consciousness level of the entire planet 